Great stuff. I see Taf Shaman who's in the house. Robert, how's it going, my man? <laughs> I hope every one of you guys had a fantastic weekend. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Uh, yes, Robert, how's it going? Did you have a good weekend? Let me know in the comments below how you went. This is fantastic. Taf, thank you so much, my man, for tuning in. And thank you so much for, um, you know, all the work that you're doing behind the scenes. It's just amazing to watch. And like I always say, I really envy your emotional labor. Now, obviously, uh, just kicking off the week and pretty much it is the beginning of the month. We're on the 6th today, but then we're still, um, you know, you know, just at the beginning of the month. One of the last months of this year. And I'm really hoping that you've kicked it off well. You've done so well. You've achieved your goals and you're all ready for 2018. Now, my name is Prosper Tarowinga for those that are just tuning in for the first time. And I want you to understand that I actually do believe that if you're running a business right now, um, and if it's an online business, it has to be profitable and you have to enjoy working in that business. And I also believe that if you're going to be a business person, you should also be able to create for and be able to relate to those you're going to be demanding money off of. I see Nicole just tuned in. Thank you so much, my love. I'm hoping that you had a fantastic weekend so far. So obviously, um, as you would notice, and as you are now accustomed to every single day um, at 2 p.m. AEST, we sit around here, um, you know, for 30 minutes where I teach a simple four-step, um, you know, strategy and a process that is designed to help coaches, consultants, and professionals like yourself to package, brand, and also market your services so that your business becomes profitable and enjoyable. I also lead a team of um, you know experts here at Live Long Digital where we help small businesses like yourself to actually grow essentially through digital marketing strategies. So I'm really hoping that you had a fantastic week and today we're going to be talking about, um, you know, a continuation of, um, you know, the topic that we've been talking about quite a lot lately, which is about branding, because I want to inspire you so that you go out there and do things that actually inspire yourself. All right. So. Tell me something. Did anybody take action? I know Ansley did take a bit of action um, with that branding strategy that you use to, um, you know, with your own name. You know what I mean? Um, if you haven't gotten the opportunity to create one, uh, just type in the word brand and then I will send you through my calendar so we can have a sit down um, and discuss how you two can have a brand that is unique to you that you actually have derived from your own name. But once you've gotten that brand, once you're in the market, how are you still going to make people realize who you are? You've got to give your brand a soul. All right. So you give your brand soul and you give your brand, um, you know, a bit of flesh so that people get to understand what your mission is, what your values are and what your vision is. All right. Because without vision, everybody would perish. I was reading earlier on, um, you know, uh, in our time. How leaders in our time are leading with hope. How leaders in our time are leading with vision. How leaders in our time are leading with aspiration. All right. So at the end of the day, if you're not telling people what to want, if you're not telling people um, that, you know, what they've been doing, you can justify their failures. If you're not encouraging their dreams, if you're not um, you know, confirming their suspicions that the market doesn't have the best service like the one that you have, if you're not aligning with their fears of having been duped before, and if you're not throwing rocks at their enemies, you're literally playing with yourself online. Sean, thank you so much for tuning in, buddy. It was so fantastic catching you live and I saw the value that you're putting out there. It's good to watch and it's good to see that there's brothers out there that have a vision, that have a mission and they value what they actually do. If anybody else is watching right now, I want you to follow Sean. He's got a thing or two to teach you. All right. So a few people would have started their business maybe at the beginning of the year or you would have you want to start your business in 2018 and um, right now I just want to talk to those that probably have something uh, of note all right because those are the people that would get value from what I'm about to talk about you know you probably decided to start that business you've 
plunged in. Congratulations. Oop did that. You know what I mean? You've joined the whole unique, um, you know, clique of, um, what do they call themselves these days? The growth hackers, the test makers, the disruptors, or whatever, you know, the risk takers of the world out there. But you are not going to go far, first of all, if you're going alone, or second of all, if people don't understand who you are, what you do, and what you represent, or if people don't see your vision, because people are looking for a place to follow. People are looking for leaders. Now, leaders got to have vision. Leaders got to have a mission. You can't be in front of a battle at war and then just start plunging into enemy territory without a plan, without a vision, without knowing exactly who you are and who you're fighting. All right. So people need to follow. People need to be understood. And you also need to understand what it is that people want off of you. Clear as it is in the same coma. I hope you had a fantastic weekend. All right. So even before you start, you know, fixating on your brand colors or what your logo is supposed to look like, take a step back. Make sure you've got a solid brand strategy in place. Most notably, your company will need to show people where you're headed, your vision, your value statements. That will then form the why, the what and the how of your organization. And guess what this does? It helps you create content. It helps you make decisions, whether big or small. Without vision, without, um, you know, a, a, a mission, we will all perish. That's the reason why in 1963, Martin Luther King standing in front of everybody, telling everybody that I have a vision. I want this and this and this to happen. And everybody in America felt the need to be there. They didn't even have social media back then. They didn't even have, you know, enough TV coverage. But there was over 200 people that met up at Lincoln Square. How did he pass on that message? It's because everybody else was sharing the same sentiments as he does. All right. So that's how they used to spread messages before. If you're sharing the same sentiments, if you've got the same visions, people would want to rally behind you and support you. So if you're not clear and your, your, your clarity is lacking, and if you're not clear on exactly who you are, what you do, and who you help, how are people going to know that you're the person that can fix their frustrations? How are people going to know that you, know, you, you, you are the people that are going to help them from where they are to where they want to be? And Sean, <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah, my wife got this for me. I don't know. She, she kind of knows what she's doing now. You know? You know what I mean? So you need to craft vision, mission, and value statements that will help your brand build meaningful connections with your audience. All right. Remember, any moment that you're creating a business, you have to be creating an audience. You have to be creating and relating for them. All right. But if you cannot specify what you can do for them and how you can help them and how you proceed. You want to proceed into the future. How are they going to know you're the right kind of person to follow? So once you've got your, your VMF, um, you know, your, your VMV statements, you know, it creates exceptional customer. And also if you're going to be having employees, they know that our leader knows where he's taken us. Even those people that believe in the Bible or people that believe in, in religion, Moses had to take, um, you know, um, the, 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 the children of Israel or wherever to, to do the promised land. That's all they knew. They didn't know how they were going to go cross through the oceans. They didn't know all of that. They didn't know they were going to starve in the desert. They didn't know that. They just knew where they were going. They just knew where their vision was. All right. So once you've got that, you know, down packed, it gives your business stepping stones to actually increase on your profitability. I know a lot of people don't want to hear some of the stuff that I talk about. You know why? Because they are just looking for that next shiny object to get, you know, the, 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 the profits. But guess what? How are you going to get profits from people that don't believe in you? How are you going to get profits from people that don't trust you? How are you going to get profits from people that don't know of your existence? So once you've stipulated what your values are, what your vision is and what your mission is, people will now start running around to, to, to follow what it is that you've got to offer. You've got to justify your clients and your prospects failures because they've been failing up until they found your service. 
So you have to justify that they have been wrong up until they found who you were and now they're in the right place. They have come home. All right? You've got to encourage their dreams. Everybody else out there is trying. Everybody else out there is trying to have a happier existence. How is your brand going to encourage your prospects' dreams? That's when your values should align with them. Do you know what I mean? You've got to confirm their suspicions. Everybody else out there who's got a phone, a laptop, and, and, and some sort of a microphone can call themselves an entrepreneur. How are you going to make them realize that you're the right kind of person with the right kind of um, you know, um, you, you, solution for their problems? <laughs> You've got to ally with their fears. They're working hard for that money. How are they going to know that if they pledge the money with your business, you're the person that's going to carry them to the promised land? And you've got to throw rocks at their enemies because as humans, we just got to find something that we are not aligned with. And if you stand for something, you, you actually stand for a whole lot of things. People out there are looking for leaders. Is your business taking the, 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 the forefront of leading by having a, a, a values, by having a mission statement and by actually having a vision? Can you type in the comments there, do you have a vision for your business? What's the vision for your business? Because if you nail these three down early, your whole company or your business is going to stand for greater success. You'll be able to actually execute. First of all, my values are to make sure that every business is profitable and enjoyable. My values are to make sure that everybody creates and relates for their audience. And guess what I do every single day? I show up. Because I want people to, to be profitable. I show up because I want them to make more money with less struggle. Those are the values and it makes it so easy for me to put out content. You know why? Because my values are in check. And I bet you want right now for your business to make profit. I bet you want right now for you to have ease in making the profit. So that's the reason why I bring out this content. So you can see how... That, you know, at the end of the day, when you start putting your values, when you start showing people where you're going, you now make and execute strategic decisions that are effortless within your business. And they are just aligned to the future goals of your business. People can literally tell what your next move would be. And that's what people want. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? And Nicole, you want to be huge success one day. That's your vision, but what's in it for the person that's going to be following you? That's how you got to start thinking about it. Do you know what I mean? Jeremy, thank you so much for tuning in, my friend. So a strong vision is going to guide your own decisions. Because when you're starting a business, you know, there seems to be a never-ending list of things that you have to consider. Funnels, you got to do the website, you got to do the branding, you got to, you know, I don't know, all those funny things that everybody thinks is part of creating a business. But if it's not managed correctly, you know what happens? You find yourself overwhelmed and very unfocused because you don't have a vision. So if you've got a vision statement and, um, you know, you, you, you tell yourself where you really want to go at a certain time or a particular time frame, it's one of the best ways to keep you inspired in your business and you put yourself on track. There's always going to be a new shiny object every single Friday. And if you don't have a vision, it will, you see, every time it comes in, it, 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 it sort of um, distracts you from your main course. You know, yes, we want to be free. Yes, we want to do all of these things. But at the end of the day, who are you doing it for and why should they care? And Tuff wants to realize mine and my client's full potential, leave nothing behind. And I know that's exactly how you operate. If you notice the way you, you visualize, you know, what you want your business to be like, that's how you work day in and day out. I want businesses to be profitable and I want people to enjoy working in their business. And that's why I'm doing and creating this content so that I profit and then also people that I work with will enjoy their work. And Taff says that he leaves nothing behind. And if you should see this guy working, man, do you know what I mean? I, I always tell myself that I'm lazy and I, I don't want to do certain tasks. But if you have somebody who is a linchpin within your business like Taff, it is amazing because his vision is, is down packed. 
Do you know what I mean? And Sean says, yes, concrete, definite goals fueled by your purpose and vision. Exactly. Without a lot of the buzzwords, without a lot of, um, you know, um, you know, the, 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 the hyperbole that a lot of people are doing, just tell yourself, where do you want this company to be known for? What do you want it to be recognized for? And then just go out there and create that. That then becomes your brand. Do you know what I mean? Good day, Jake Tellman. Thank you so much for tuning in. And Luke Moroni, what's happening, my brother? All right. So every time you jump into your car, don't you, you know, you put in your, your final destination for your business, right? That's what you do in the GPS. So think of your company's vision statement as the GPS, which is the end destination. So it points you towards where, where you, you, you know, where, 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 where you need to go. Once you've got a vision statement within your business, it always helps you to ensure that you are on the right direction. Anyone can come in with any new strategy or plan or new hack. Don't even worry about that. Your mission is to make sure that you fulfill that vision of yours. But also, as a disclaimer, don't hold on to a vision that's dead. Right now, don't say that you want to be the best, um, you know, uh, what do they call it, film producer um, in the world. You know, Kodak didn't make it. Don't also aim to be the best analog phone producer in the world. Ask Nokia how it worked out for them. Make sure your vision is futuristic. All right. It also has to be an outcome that you can test with, with you know, incoming opportunity. Things are changing real fast. As long as your vision is steady, all those things that you can use will be ingredients to, to make sure that you, you, you go ahead. You know? For instance, you may ask yourself, how big of a company do you want to get? Right now, I'm working towards creating a $100 million business in four stages. All right? So you want to tell, ask yourself, how big do you want the company to get? And uh, Dakota says, very important to know when, when to iterate and reinvent your plan. That's, that's why you have to make plans that are really, really solid. And Luke says, I'm in property and... Um, there's some Bitcoin vision of late. I understand. I can, I can pretty much, you see the thing, that's the reason why I don't talk about Bitcoin a lot. Because I feel like it's something that would, I can't really say, but then it, 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 it's, it's going in a, in, a, in a weird direction right now. And um, it's survival of the fetus. And I, I, don't, I don't quite like the instability of it. It's going up. It's everything that goes up must come down. So there's probably going to be more that comes out of that. So that's that's where I stand with um with you know cryptic currencies, if I may say. You know what I mean? But those are my values. My values are steady income. My values are things that I can comprehend. If I can't comprehend it, I can't invest in it. So those are the values that I also want to impart to those people that follow me. All right. You also need to know amongst your vision, how many employees if you're going to have, you know what I mean? And you want to, you, you want to also look at yourself. What kind of legacy do you want your business to have? What kind of future do you want your kids to, to, to live? And what kind of legacy is the most important part? And once you know that exactly, you know what I mean? You start working towards that. So if you're clear on your vision, people don't get confused. Do you know what I mean? Because today you touch this, you touch that. Nobody has time to follow what you do. All right. Even, even with yourself, even with yourself, if you're not clear on who you are today, maybe today you wake up as a, as a SEO expert. Tomorrow you wake up as something else. If you can't be steady in your own realm, what happens? Nobody is going to have time for you. You become a nothing to people. So hold on to your vision. What you said you were going to do and you were going to deliver, go out there like your life depends on it. Because with a clear vision statement, you can avoid getting lost. I can see some people are touching onto that, touching onto that. And if this falls and that falls, you know what I mean? It's, you're just giving yourself a lot of stress. You know, just it's easy to make strategic business decisions when you know exactly where you're headed. And if you've got a long-term vision and, and mission and also, um, you know what I mean, mission, mission, vision, and what was the other one, your values, it's easy for you to just wake up every single day with one purpose just to do that one thing and kick ass, you know? Because if you're this, you're that, you're that, 
ain't nobody got time for that. You know? Because if you've got a strong mission, people want leaders. Not dabblers. Not people that are just, oh, I'm here today, I'm there tomorrow. Do you know what I mean? Because if you can't show where you are leading, how, how is the next person who doesn't even know what you're up to going to, um, you know, understand you as a person? So, it's one thing from me. Pick and choose what it is that you want. I mean, everybody has a decision. Do you know what I mean? Exactly. Jack of all trades and the master of none. At the heart of every sort of new business, you know what I mean? You should lie on your mission. Who do you want to serve? Is it selfish service or do you really want to serve people? Do you know what I mean? Because your company purpose, its main reason of existence and the, and the, and the difference that it, it strives to make the world should be defined by its mission statement. Why do you utterly exist as a business? Why should people care not to go with Sally down the road there? And Sean says, no the way, go the way, and show the way. I like that statement. No the way, show the way, go the way. Oh, it's like a, it's like a rap rhyme, right? <laughs> you know? So not only does it create strong brand differentiation from everybody else, you actually inspire customer passion and brand engagement. Because if they don't understand, oh, what are you dabbling on today? What are you dabbling on today? Ain't nobody got time for that. So if you're on a strong mission, and your, your mission statement, it also helps your employees and people that will be working with you to actually figure out if they fit in. You know, are they on the same mission as you? Because if they're waking up this morning and then at the meeting, they're like, oh, okay, so today we're not dealing with this particular subject area. We're dealing with this. They lose hope. They don't know what their purpose within the company is. And if you don't have employee engagement, obviously they're going to pass that across to your customers. And then if your customers are not being treated well, guess what? Sally down the road has got something in store for them. All right. So when you start making strategic decisions, it, focus. All right. It, it tells your employees what they need to deliver and why they're needed in that particular um, you know, part of the business. Focus. It helps people understand why they should wake up in the morning and why they should stick around and watch your stuff. You're not only doing yourself a favor, but you're just making people realize that you're the real deal. You're not a dabbler. Do you know what I mean? So with focus and with the mission, it's a key driver to organizational you know, performance. A strong indicator of business success. You know, everything that you know about big companies, you know them for the one thing. You know that Apple is there to think differently. They disrupted the, the music. They disrupted the, um, the way computers were distributed. They disrupted the way the telephone is used. They are just uh, making people think different. And that's their mission statement. Think different. Can you see how it influences the way they do their business? Even though their phones are 10, 15 years you know, um, what do you call it? 10, 15 years uh, late on the market than what Android devices have. You can never, you can never take away an Apple fan from, from you know, the, the, the iOS. Unless they are not really sold onto the mission because they also want to think different. So you want to make sure that your values, your missions and, 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 and your, what's the other thing we're talking about? Value mission. Oh, your value, your mission, and your vision is aligned to your customers so that they also can make their own decision. They also can make their own interpretation of what your business is supposed to be like. Because you can't just tell people what to think. You can't just tell people how to feel, you know? So once you've got a strong mission, you now inspire a community of people that actually follow you. And within that community, business happens because people do business with those they know, like, and trust. All right? And when people know that they fit in, they always want to belong. Humans are creatures of habit and we are social creatures. We are always looking for a place to belong. If you show us you've got a vision where we're going to get our food, where we're going to get our homo, homo, what's the other thing that people want? Comfort, clothing, all of those things, they will stay true to you. 
So instead of you jumping all over the place trying to figure out where you fit in, you just tell people, this is who I am, this is what, where we are going, let's do this. And people will find out, can they fit in or can they F off? You know? And you know, some people would want to formulate strategic partnerships with you. But if they don't know where you actually stand, do you think people will approach you for strategic partnerships? What will people come to you for? What would people bring business to you saying, hey, Sally, listen, hey, Prosper, I've got this SEO client or I've got this marketing uh, client. Can you help them? But yesterday, if you came in and you're talking about that, yesterday you came in and you're talking about that, how are people going to know what to support you with? You know, so at some point in your journey, you're going to be approached, you know, by different other brands for, to form strategic partnerships. You might want to maybe select key influencers for your product. How are they going to know they're the right fit for what your message is all about? How are you going to choose them? You know? So you want to make sure that that, 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 that partnership, that influencer also aligns with your mission, aligns with your vision. Because there's no way you're going to want to work with people that you hate or you don't, you know, uh, um, you know uh, like. What's the point? You might as well go back to a cubicle. You know? So if your business is, prom is, is, is really, really committed to promoting sort of, you know, responsible, um, you know, animal eating, or if, if you're maybe a fan of, I mean, if, if the other company is not supportive of, you know, gay or lesbian marriages and you are a supporter of it, if your values don't align, do you think the business will be an easy transaction? You know? So at the end of the day, you really want to make sure that your mission, your vision, and your, um, your mission, your vision, and your, what? I keep forgetting this. All right, somebody remind me. And your values, they're all aligned with, from, right from the get-go. Don't confuse people and you won't confuse yourself in the end. You know? So your values must be able to, to drive business decisions and this is how customers see you. Are you helpful? Are you kind? Are you, do you have value for them? Are you going to justify their failures? Are you going to encourage their dreams? Are you going to confirm their suspicions? Are you actually aligning with whatever they're fearing in the market already? Are you throwing rocks at their enemies? Let's say maybe you, your values are being a vegan. For those meat eaters, do you think they would want to do business with you? So you want to make sure that you, you, you are, you are straight from the get go so that there's no confusion in the future because you're going to invite those people to a party or something like that. And you are probably, you know, masquerading as, 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 as a non vegan or as a vegan. And then at the party, there's meat at your place. Do you think people will continuously trust you? So you want to make sure that your mission, your vision and your values are aligned right from the get go, you know? Your brand values, you know, maybe there to be effective or maybe to be a fast, um, you know, producer or to be efficient in your work. They need to be more than just, you know, bulleted, um, you know, points on your about us page. You need to breed them. You need to be about them. Show it by actually. And if you are you, you, you one of your values is to help your customers. You actually have to help them by actually helping them. And you need to be genuine. That's where the authenticity comes in. Everything you do just needs to relate back to them. Make sure you've got your values pasted somewhere so that you are aware of them continuously. Because every phone call, every email, every social media post has to be bleeding of your values, have to be bleeding of your vision and of your mission. Everything you do has to relate back to those three powerhouses. Do you know what I mean? And you have to have absolute faith in them and actually remind your prospects or your audience about them every single day. You know? But then again, also, like what other people are talking about, your statements, you know, like the business world, they are not meant to be stagnant, but at least they have to be stable enough to put you through. You know what I mean? Things might change. The way money is circulated in the, in the society might change, but 
your values would probably never change. If you value family, whichever way money is distributed is not going to change the way you feel or, or you value people that actually are running, you know, um, happier families there, you know? So at the end of the day, Robert says, yes, absolute faith. It helped my wife find me. <laughs> I'd like to hear that story one day, Robert. So the decisions that you make, you know, they might um, turn your brand's vision or your mission into something tangible for your audience because your audience needs to make its own interpretation of what you're saying, how you're saying it, and how it makes them feel. Because if somebody hasn't made it their own, they haven't accepted you. So your vision, your, your mission, all of those things, it humanizes your brand, you know, and it shows your customers that you actually care about them. Because this whole um, system of follow, 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 and you not actually having anything that you stand for, you eventually stand for nothing and nobody has time for that. So you, you start telling them what your purpose is and why they should start caring about your brand and why they should only get products from you. And guess what? It stops you from becoming a commodity because some of us, our jobs can be done by an offshore student. Our jobs can be done by anyone, but can they get the emotional labor from you because your visions are aligned with them? You are justifying their dreams and your purpose is what their purpose is. And they know where you're headed to. So you're just making your life a whole lot easier by focusing, having a vision and a mission and letting everybody know that you value the same things as they value. People are looking for, people do business with other people. They don't do business with avatars. So if your values are not aligned, there's no way they will support your business. You know? But like I'm saying, the disclaimer part of this, nothing has to be stagnant or written in stone. As your new company grows or your business evolves, you know what I mean? So would your objectives and your goals, but be sure to make sure that your audience is aware of where you are headed. You know? So you just don't create statements and then you forget about them and then realize that 10 years down the line, that's when you created your mission or vision statement and it's no longer aligned to the person you've become. That means you're not growing and people don't want that because progress is what keeps people moving. Hope, aspirations. So you want to feed that through your vision, your mission and your values. You know, if anyone has any questions about today's show, let's air them. Let's find out how I can be able to help you create your vision, your mission and your values. Because if customers don't know who you are, if customers don't know what you bring to the table or how different you are to the next person, you're just a commodity to them. And commodities compete on price. Commodities compete on uniqueness. You don't want to be doing that. Because if you've been watching and listening to my content, you would know that I value that your business has to be profitable and enjoyable. And one other thing, I know that your life story and your experience have greater commercial value than you could ever think of. You're here to make a difference, all right? So you can package, you know, all your how-to information into a business that's lucrative and that's profitable and enjoyable. I really want you to win. I really want you to be known for something. Make sure that your values, your vision, and your mission are aligned to the audience you're trying to, um, you know, attract. In the meantime, if you've got any questions to ask me, let a brother know. Have a fantastic week. Catch you guys tomorrow at the same time. And let's talk about things that will help you have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And what's Ansley saying? Awesome content and great value as always. Thank you for caring and sharing. Thank you so much, Ansley. Hope to speak to you soon. In the meantime, have a fantastic day, guys.